delicious Singapore hawker food at Commonwealth Crescent Food Centre. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. We are at Commonwealth Crescent Food Centre to try this bowl of noodles. Mee pork noodles. And some rice, roast chicken rice. And after that, maybe we have some dessert, some traditional Chinese dessert. And of course, we have a couple of burgers to fries. So join me as I try the food here at this place called Commonwealth Crescent Food Center. And you want to find out what I ate here? You need to just stay tuned. Welcome back. Well, where are we now today? We are not at the ceiling. We are actually at Queenstown MRT Station. And we are doing a how to get there. How to get to Commonwealth Crescent Food Centre. Previously, we, we went from Commonwealth MRT Station. But there's another way. So here, we are at Queenstown MRT Station, which is on the east-west line. We are looking for exit A. So once you get out of the gantry, walk straight and then you turn right and when you turn right you just need to keep walking to walk straight here all the way to the end and what we are on now is actually a overhead bridge above the street level so just keep walking straight all the way to the end then at the end what you do is you make a right turn and after you make the right turn you walk down the stairs all the way to the bottom so you turn here Yep, and then start walking down the stairs all the way to the bottom. And then once you reach the bottom, keep walking straight. Then turn right towards the street. Or, alternatively, you can take the lift down. So what you do is, instead of turning left, you walk straight. And in front of you is the lift. So you're actually now on the second floor, which is the ticketing counter. Go all the way down to the first floor, which is the street level. And so once you get down here, at the street level, you get out of the lift, walk straight, turn left, and just walk straight down here. Okay. On your left here is some HDB flats. On your right is actually the stairs that we walked down earlier. So just keep walking straight, and then you turn right here. And then in front of you now, this road here is actually Commonwealth Avenue. And so what you're going to do is, once you reach this road, you're going to turn left. And when you turn left, here we are. In front of us is the bus stop. And that's where we're heading to. So let's continue our journey. So we're going to walk to the bus stop. And this is the bus stop we're going to take the bus from. We are looking for bus 195. So from this bus stop, which is the Queenstown Station A slash D top, you're going to take bus 195 and you're going to stop at the third bus stop from this bus stop. So you just keep going, sitting on the bus. And when you're going past the bus, if you look up to your left, you'll notice there are a lot of terrace houses here. These terrace houses are actually very old HDB projects in the past where they actually built terrace houses instead of high-rise flats. So here are the remaining examples of HDB terrace houses. And what happens is you stop here at this bus stop. This bus stop is the Block 92 uh, bus stop, which is three bus stops away from the previous bus stop. and you took bus 195 to get here so what happens is so here's the bus stop and you actually got down here so once you get down turn right and continue walking down the street you'll be walking um, along with the traffic down that direction 
So just keep walking down until you reach the pedestrian crossing in front there. Then you're going to cross the road at the pedestrian crossing. So once you cross the road, just keep walking in. You'll notice there's actually a row of shop houses over there. So you know, need to go into the middle of those rows of shop houses. So you walk down from here, from there, up the stairs here, and go into the shop houses. And just walk past the shops, and then inside here is where the food center is. This is Commonwealth Crescent Food Center. A food center in a very old HDB estate. This estate here could, is very old. The flats in this area and the area around here, maybe like Queenstown, uh, Commonwealth, this whole area here, uh, is a very old area and it's been around for maybe around maybe 50 to 60 years. And if you look at the HDB flats here, you know that the HDB flats here are quite the design. Look at the design, you'll find that they have very old design, and that actually tells you the age of this HDB. And in all HDB areas, or HDB housing estates, you can find food centers there. And normally, at these food centers, the food here, a lot they have a lot of old school shops that the hawker here has been practicing their craft for many many years. And so, coming to a food center in a old uh, HDB estate is a good adventure for you to try and look for interesting food so get down here and try the food and the first item i'm going to try from this food center is from this shop called huang da fu and here they sell noodles what i order from here is uh, bak chor mee or minced meat mushroom noodles and here Okay, normally I will order the smaller portion, but since this is my first meal of the day and I decided to eat a bit more, so instead of ordering the small portion, which would have cost me $2.70, I ordered the medium portion, which cost me $3.50. And I ordered my usual favorite noodle, which is Mee Pop, which is a flat egg noodles. And I ordered it dry with chili. And I ordered the Bak Chor Mee version, which is the minced meat mushroom noodles. They also help sell other type of noodles like fish ball noodles but I decided to order this one instead. And here you can also take uh, your own free flow of pot lard, which I will pour into the noodles later. So here is the noodles. Here is what I ordered and here I'm going to eat it. Let me explain to you about the noodles first. So I ordered meat pork which is uh, flat egg noodles and he actually did the noodles quite well it has a nice a bite texture to it which I really, really enjoyed and the fragrance coming from the noodles here it has a very distinctly vinegar fragrance that is quite nice but when you eat it you don't really get much of the vinegar taste but more of a sweet spicy taste and the spicy here has a very nice spicy kick to it that is quite tasty and here the noodles they do it well the ingredients cook well and for 350 this is quite a big portion of noodles and here this place also open from 6 a.m to 2 a.m so if you're hungry you can come here for late supper or even early breakfast a super early breakfast and you can have the fish here which is very convenient And one thing I always try to eat when I come here is from this stall called Si Le Ting. And here they sell traditional Chinese dessert, four types. They will have green bean soup, red bean soup, cheng teng, and sweet wheat porridge. And what I ordered was, of course, the sweet wheat porridge, which cost me $1. One of the reasons why I come here is, of course, it's cheap. Good desserts. In a nice porcelain bowl here, you have uh, the sweet wheat porridge which you also have a nice flavor of coconut milk in there and it's not too sweet and when you eat the porridge you first of all get the smooth taste of the dessert and also you have this nice chewy wheat grain that 
it's quite appetizing and gives it a different contrasting texture when you eat the dessert. Overall, I quite like it, this dessert. And whenever I can, if I come here, I always try to eat it. So if you are here, you want traditional Chinese desserts, this is the place for you. And up next is this stall called Senki Chicken Rice. And during lunch time, a lot there's actually a queue for the food here. A lot of people come here to eat the food during lunch time. What they sell is uh, of course chicken rice, uh, roast meats like a char siu, uh, roast duck. They also have ho fan. They also have uh, laksa or curry chicken noodles. But what I ordered from them is their roast chicken rice. So let's start with the soup. The soup here is a bit salty, but it's a peanut chicken feet with I think if I'm not mistaken I can taste some preserved vegetable in the soup it is a very interesting soup but it's just a bit salty then you have the rice here the rice here is nice and firm a very good chicken rice nicely flavored with the fragrance of the chicken and the rice here is egg has a very has an excellent back texture I really like the rice here then you have the chicken unfortunately for the chicken here uh, I felt the chicken, even though it was tender, but the flavor of the chicken is quite normal. But the ch chicken skin, flavored very nicely, still a crispy, and when you bite into it, nice chicken flavor. I really like the chicken skin, just that the meat itself is a bit normal. Tender, a bit dry, cheap but good. Not the best, but good value for money. And lastly, we are at this store called Hemi, and here they sell burgers. Yes, burgers at a hawker center. But this place here, they do sell burgers. They have your classic burger, your premium burger, and your fried chicken burger. And here, what happens is you place your order. Unfortunately, you need to wait a while for them to prepare your burger. There's actually a queue. So what they do, they give you this sensor. So when it's your time to collect the burger, after you make payment, they give you the sensor and when it's time to pick up, the sensor will ring. You go and pick up your burger and then you eat your burger. So what I ordered from here first of all is their classic beef burger. Single patty which cost me $6. And here's the burger. Look at that. I must say the burger does look good. And one thing I really like about the burger is the bun. The bun you see on top there, nice and fluffy. Inside cook big nicely and then at the bottom there they put it on the grill so it's crispy and then still nice uh, airy and fluffy inside there which I really like then they have some nice caramelized onions which goes very well with the burger sweet and then a nice little bite to eat that goes very well with the patty then you have the cheese you have the patty and then you have their secret sauce if I'm not mistaken there's some mustard in the secret sauce which is a very nice and delicious combination which I quite like their burger uh, next up is their fried chicken burger which cost me $5.50 and this one I ordered the spicy version so I must say the chicken burger also nice the chicken here crispy when you bite into it it's a very nice crispy skin then you have the a bit of a slaw and then with a bit of a sauce meat and look at the bun look at that see bounce back so nice and what I must say here I really like here what they do here is the bun the bun is I felt 50% of what makes the burger good and then the rest is the patty and the sauce here uh, the chicken was okay uh, spicy but I didn't really like this burger as much as but I do must say, I really like their cheeseburger. The patty was okay, but then the combination of everything together done very well. A good place for a burger. And so, this brings us to the end of our adventure here at Commonwealth Crescent Food Center. We have tried a wide variety of food here, and I'm sure when you saw the food here, it made you curious, it made you hungry, it made you want to come here. So what are you waiting for? This place is open. Come over and have try 
the food that I have tried or tried food that I didn't try write down in the comments you know that's come have your own food adventure here at this food center anyway thank you very much for joining me for my adventure here today I hope you enjoyed it because my tummy surely did and before you go can you do me a favor please help me by liking my video by clicking the thumbs up button sharing my video uh, subscribing to my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon too I heard from somewhere the rumors that if you click the bell icon you will get the latest notification about my videos but that's just a rumor and before we go please the last thing the thing that you will have to do is of course come here and eat and try the food but to also join me for my next food adventure I will see you there bye bye